This video will show you a quick overview of how to use your freeze dryer. The freeze dryer will go through three processes. The first is freezing. You can speed this part of the process up by freezing your food prior to putting it into the freeze dryer. Once the food is frozen, it goes into the dry mode. When the unit thinks most of the water is out of the food, the unit then goes into final dry. When final dry is finished, you'll take your food out. To get started, you will turn on the freeze dryer 30 minutes prior to loading to make sure the unit is already cool before loading your product in the freeze dryer. You will press the correct button, whether it's liquid, non-liquid, pre-frozen or not frozen, then close the drain valve. If you have an oil pump, make certain you have clean oil in the pump and that it's filled to the oil fill level noted on the pump. The place where the oil goes is in a red cap on top of the pump. Just unscrew it and pour in your oil. A funnel can be used to pour the oil into your pump to make it a little easier and reduce the mess. The vacuum pump should be plugged into the back of the freeze dryer and the switch on the vacuum pump should be turned on. The O indicates off, the I indicates on. Then you'll prepare your food for freeze drying. Go ahead and cut up your food into medium slices or pieces and feel free to mix and match. You can have different things on different trays. Go ahead and place that food on the trays. It should normally not be higher than the sides of the trays and should normally not be stacked. However, peas, corn, and herbs might be an exception. Go ahead and slide the trays into the unit. If you're putting in a runny liquid like soup, eggs, juice, milk, it's best to slide the empty tray most of the way into the freeze dryer, pour the liquid into the trays from the pitcher or container, and then gently slide the tray in the rest of the way. Once the food is in the freeze dryer, securely latch the door. Check again to make sure the drain valve is closed. Then just let the freeze dryer do its job. The process is automatic. Typically, a batch will take 24 to 50 hours depending on what's being freeze dried. And there are a variety of factors that can cause batches to take longer. Some of those things would be the amount of sugar in your food, or the cellular structure of the food, the amount of food or the amount of water in the food, and then the room temperature that the freeze dryer is placed in. When a batch of food is finished, the unit will beep to let you know it's done. The screen on the unit also indicates that the food is done by telling you the process is complete. This is the time to check your food to see if it needs any more dry time. So you'll open your drain valve to release the vacuum pressure and open the door. Go ahead and find the thickest piece of food on the tray, break it in half, and see if there's any water in it. You can also put it on your tongue. Your tongue can often sense the ice better than your eyes can. If it's not dry, go ahead and add a little more dry time. Usually two to three hours is enough. However, some things like blueberries and grapes might need a little more time. They have a skin that the water has a hard time getting out of. You can puncture the skins or cut the grapes in half to speed up the process. When you have decided that the food is dry, go ahead and take your food out of the freeze dryer. Once the food is out of the freeze dryer, press defrost and close the door. You can also press no defrost and just leave your door open and the ice will defrost on its own. Now it's time to package the food. A canning system can be expensive. Mylar bags are good because they have metal in the fabric and they keep the light out. If you have extra jars from your canning days, please do feel free to use them. Once you have placed your food in a container, place an adequate oxygen absorber inside that container, then seal the container and the oxygen absorber will take all the oxygen out of the bag. To seal your bags, you can use a heat sealer. There are two that work well. One is a hand sealer, and the other is an automatic sealer that has a small conveyor belt. Also, be sure to seal your leftover oxygen absorbers because they will go bad in just a couple of minutes. Once you open a larger bag of absorbers, you can reseal the package with your sealer set on a lower temp than you would need for the larger Mylar bags. Be sure and change your oil before each new batch of food. If you're using filtered oil, make sure that no water gets into the pump. The water and oil will separate. The oil will float on the top of the water. Simply pour off the oil for reuse and just discard the water. The most important thing is to remember to have fun. Don't be afraid to experiment and try new things. And visit our website for more videos.